Hello and welcome to the Bind King stock market Q&A live stream. We do this exclusively on my Discord and I only answer questions that are asked by my Discord members. So if you want to join that Discord, be sure to click the link in the description to join my Discord group. So the question is thoughts on TDoc, which is Teladoc Health Incorporated. This is a $200 stock with a market cap of $16 billion. We'll see if we can justify that. Right off the bat, we see a negative earnings per share of $1.29. What this means is that for every share of Teladoc, they're losing $1.29 um, just from operations. So you're losing money with each share you buy, but maybe that's not such a horrible thing if this is a long-term outlook, if this is a future hold for you, and you don't mind the company not being profitable right now. So at least they don't pay a dividend. That's good. When a company is unprofitable and is still paying a dividend, I'd run like hell. As we can see, coronavirus has not been treating the stock very kindly. Q1 2020, they blew it on EPS, or loss per share, since they're not profitable. And they also blew it in Q2. The bar is lowered uh, pretty significantly for Q3, but it's actually up year over year, so we'll see if they can beat that or come right in line with it. We'll see what happens there. As far as revenue and earnings go, revenues are very beautiful, climbing very nicely over the past four years. From 2017 through 2019, it looks like the revenues even doubled from $233 million in sales to $553 million in sales. So that's beautiful. And it looks like their losses have been staying right in line over the past three years. Um, so it doesn't look like their losses are growing, which is great. It also doesn't look like their losses are diminishing, which isn't the best thing in the world. But hey, if you have your revenues growing, all you have to do is figure out how to convert those sales into profits, how to cut some costs here and there, and figure out how to make a profitable business of yourself. So you guys can see last year they reported $553 million in sales. Their current market cap is a $16 billion so they're definitely priced pretty high compared to what their sales are but we'll take a look at that in the statistics so yeah price to sales for this company is 19.75 tesla even has a cheaper price to sales ratio um so this is definitely not a stock that i would go near right now unless they're like expected to absolutely double their sales this coming year in 2020 which uh, EPS didn't look that way, but who knows what sales turn out to be. So price to sales are already a huge red flag for me of a 20x. I would not go near this company whatsoever, but this is just me from the outside looking in. I haven't looked into Teladoc prior to this. So of course there's no PE ratio. This company is not profitable yet. We'll go ahead and take a look at their income statement and balance sheet. So of course, as we already saw, 2016, their sales were 123 million the following year 233 million the year after that 417 million and now they're at 570 or 553 million and the trailing 12 mar months which also accounts for the last two quarters of 2019 so this isn't all the money they've made in 2020 so um, just keep that in mind only two quarters it's two quarters of each year combined that's the trailing 12 months right now uh, of 716 million, I think it's pretty safe to say that they will beat last year's sales um, on a year-over-year -year basis. However, net losses, like I said, they're pretty much right in line with each other the past three years. This year for the trailing 12 months, I wouldn't doubt to see them report an even higher loss than they did uh, last year, but the trailing 12 months is pretty much right in line, but like I said, there's two quarters of 2019 into this figure, so um, it's, it's hard to tell what it will be exactly without me looking into it even further. Taking a look at the balance sheet, we'll see maybe their assets will save their assets. Total cash on hand is pretty much equal to the amount of sales that they made this last year at $500 million. Not at a billion, which... I, I wish it was at least at a billion for a company that's worth um, or valued at 16 billion dollars total current assets not a whole lot greater at 588 million and total assets is at a 1.6 so they do have a um, I believe this would be a 10 times price to books ratio 
which means the market cap divided by their total amount of assets would be 10 um, because so for every share you buy you're paying you're paying ten dollars for every share and you only get one dollar of assets that this company owns current liabilities 90 million not bad and total liabilities only about half a billion dollars also not terrible gives them a asset to debt ratio of a 1.6 divided by equals so asset to debt ratio of a 2.72 which is good um, it's it's a it's a healthy asset to debt ratio but also their price to book ratio is a little bit high the stock could come down some this is a stock that I believe could very fairly be traded at about $100 or below. I believe it's a little bit inflated right now, but let's just see what the stock has had a history of trading at. Uh, this is year to date, so the past one year. Let's see, yeah, so they were trading pretty reasonably back in December of 2019, and I'm assuming coronavirus just took the stock to the moon. Is Yeah, that's what it looks like. So February, March, and beyond, this stock just went to the moon. But yeah, I think it was trading just fine at $100 to $120 a share. Right now, I think it's a little bit rich unless their sales absolutely plan to, to go to the moon from here. Then I would, I'm going to stay away from the stock. Okay, so I'm being told by the chat that uh, TDoc just acquired Livongo. Uh, it's a recent acquisition. I used to think I was a germaphobe. I didn't. I don't like touching cash. I have to sanitize my hands right afterwards or wash my hands right afterwards. But as we live in a world that's becoming more remote, where people are going into meetings on Zoom rather than actually showing up, are we going to have a world where people prefer to um, visit with their doctor online remotely with Teladoc? That could very well be a possibility, and I do think that will help their sales. So we might see a a larger ramp up that in sales than we've been seeing uh, so that could help the stock I still think that $200 a share is a little rich but that's just me if you're holding the stock for the next five plus years then you won't mind buying this the stock at $200 a share I'm sure that they'll be producing sales that can easily justify that figure and that's a decision you have to make whether you're willing to hold this stock for the next five plus years as Warren Buffett says, if you wouldn't hold a company for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. So this can't be a short-term play for you or any stock that you own. You have to look into the future and see if they're still worth your investment. Great, guys. Thanks for throwing out TDoc. I'm glad that I got to look into that stock. Hello and welcome to the Buying King Stock Market Q&A livestream. We do this exclusively on my Discord and I only answer questions that are asked by my Discord members. So if you want to join that Discord, be sure to click the link in the description to join my Discord group.